Hi, this is Tim with TM Media, and I'm going to show you Traffic Light. Traffic Light is a browser-based project management system that you that that there's so there's nothing to download, and you can use it on a Mac or PC. I'm just going to jump right in here and start using it, and show you how simple this this management project management system is to use, and how efficiently you can collaborate with your other team members. So I'm just going to click in on Add Project. We'll call this project TM Media's Web Site Design. And I can assign a user to it right from here at the beginning of creating the project, or I can assign it later. I'm going to wait till later. Same thing with the comments. I can add an opening comment, but I'm going to show you that in a second. So let me, here I can select a start date and a end date. We'll say we're going to end this. This has got a deadline of Thursday, December 2nd, and I'm going to hit save. So here's the project we just created. And you'll notice this is in the middle of all these other projects. All the projects are ranked from top to bottom based on when they're due. So all the ones that have have a have a closer deadline are going to be at the top and then projects that have more than more more time more more days left on the deadline are going to be at the bottom so let me create my first comment in here let's say i want to talk to my my uh, developer kevin and just say hey kevin let's get this started. Now what's going to happen here is it's going to post a comment on the project and if Ke Kevin is assigned to the project assigned to this project he's going to get access to this project and also get an email saying hey you have a comment that's been posted this is the light and this is the latest comment. Let's say I want to just uh, I want to make another comment testing comment Sure. Now here you see that the previous comment is gone and the, the latest comment is posted. Now this happens only in, in compact mode and this is comp this all these projects right now are in com compact mode. So you'll you'll be able to see all the comments on a project and I'm going to show you that right now. This is probably the neatest feature of this whole program is the compact and expand mode. If I click on this button, I go from compact mode to expanded mode. So I can in, I can instantly see more details and have more functions um, by the click of this button. So there's the comment. There's the second, the first comment I made with Kevin. I can also create do the same functions in compact mode I did in. Uh, I'm sorry. I can make the same operations in expanded mode I can do in compact mode. So I can make another comment. So testing and it just keeps adding up so here in also in compact mode I can log I can track time either in compact mode or expanded mode so let me say I want to if you have a staff member or you yourself want to track some time you spend on a project let's say I want to track four five point five hours and let's just say I want to track another eight just hit log time. That's where that time is right there. And you can also delete these as, as well from here. So if I just keep adding them, they'll keep adding up. So that's pretty much how to track time. Here I can add users to a task. Let's just say I want to add you, I want John Doe. Now John Doe is affiliated with this project and he can comment on this project as well and he can see all my comments as, as well. I can also add a task in expanded mode. Let's say create outline structure for a website. I can create a due date on this. Let's say the due date is the 30th. And there's my task. Now, pretty much anybody on this um, that's a user on this 
on this project can see the tasks. I can assign specifically a user as well to say John Doe. And I also can send him an email notification, but I'm not going to do that right now. I can also upload files and share files. I'm going to show you that right now. This is a project we just got done with. Oh, this is a little JPEG of it. You can upload to a 100 megabyte file. I know there's some heavy, a lot of designers and uh, anybody in, in managing projects, sometimes they they're have heavy heavy files. So we, we created it so you can have up to 100 megabytes uh, per file. So here's the file I just uploaded. I can down, anybody can download it. Anybody that has access to the project can download it. The administrator is the only one that can delete it, which is me. And I also can share this file. And this, this is a really neat feature. So in case you want to share a file with a client or another person, but not necessarily want to invite them to see everything in the project, this is the way to do it. So I just click this check box. I hit share. And it's going to ask me, who do you want to send the files to? I'm going to say, just say, my email him at tmediainc.com. And now what's happened is the files are instantly sent to that email address. The, a link to that file is sent to that email address. That's it. It's gone. There's no copying, pasting. There's no having to generate your own email. It's immediately, as soon as I hit that share, it's gone. So that's pretty much the upload and, and share feature. And that's pretty much all the details you need to know about expanded mode. We're also going to add in the future a place where you can add notes as well, as well as tasks. And that button will that button will probably be right under the task button. So let me go back to compact mode. Let me just show you some other features as well. Now we, we created another view. A list view so you can really see a lot more projects on, a, on without scrolling too much and you can click on these projects and go to them instantly if you hit this little X you go back to view all so that's pretty much list mode and then let, so let's go back to sign mode and now I'm going to show you what the deal is with this traffic light the traffic light is meant to just give you a quick overview of what's going on in the project. Let's say you're um, in my business. We do a lot of uh, we do a lot of designing, and sometimes we're waiting on files from clients. So I will put a red light that the project's on hold, and we're waiting for something on it. Client files, whatever it may be, but the project is on hold. If the project's a go, and everything's everybody's someone's working on it. I'll put a green light. If the project needs attention, uh, special attention, I'll put a yellow light. And if the project, if I need to even escalate it further to make sure we do not ignore this project and make sure we, we deal with this first, you know, whatever it is, I'll click the yellow light again and it blinks. So as you're scrolling around the projects, you can immediately see what projects need prior, what, what needs attention. So let me show you these other uh, features here on our profile panel. This is basically an overview of what's been done. This shows you I made a comment or I up, this is a, I uploaded a file or I'm sorry I shared a file, and these are just all the latest things I I did. And it shows you the dates, so it's a really easy way to come in and, and just see what's going on and what's happened during the day. This is my list of users where I can add users to the uh, database. And this is basically my calendar and I can click on I can click on certain dates. Let's say the 15th. Click on that button and it immediately shifts and brings up to view of what what that project is that's due on the 15th. I also can let me go back to users and show you how to view users 
uh, if you want to view a pro view projects by user, say I want to find out what John Doe's working on, I click on view projects, and that's all he's working on. Those are the three projects. I click on this little button right here, and I go back to full view again. So that's pretty much it. Um, please try Traffic Light. We, we would love to hear some feedback from you. There's uh, two ways to use it. You can use it for an unlimited time and have up to three projects, or you can try one of the 30-day trials on any of the, on any of the accounts and, um, and just try it out. So we have two ways you can try it out. We do, uh, if you look down here, there's a feedback bar, a uh, feedback form. Any questions, anything at all, you like it, you don't like it, there's a feature you wish we had, or there's a feature that's bugging you, whatever it may be, we really want to hear your feedback. And then that's what, we're, we, we, what we rely on is uh, feedback from our existing clients using this and, 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 and users that are just trying to try it for free and, and want to see, see what it's all about. But we definitely want to hear some feedback, so please don't hesitate to fill out this form and hit, and hit submit to uh, any comments, questions, whatever it may be. We want to hear from you. Thanks very much for listening, and I hope you enjoy using Traffic Light. Thanks very much.